six designs here. Now I have a tutorial for you guys, whoever watches my videos. <laughs> it's on how to make a cool thing like this. And I, there's a bunch of tutorials on random stuff and I just put it all together and, and this happened. So yeah. What you're going to need is AI files like so you can put extreme nerves on it and it'll make it 3D and you don't need drowsy but you can use it but yeah okay let me delete all this for a second okay first you just drag your your AI file into here Put the extrude nerves up there, two of them. Drag the paths onto the nerves. And I, I just have to copy it because I accidentally did some. Copy it and go to the Lightroom you want. I have a Lightroom set up already. Make sure they are at 60 centimeters on object. The, the both of the nerves, not just the first, like I did that right there, right here. Yeah, I'm gonna rotate it really quick. Oh, sorry guys. Okay, rotate it. Let's try it again. Here we go. Okay, let's just use it like this. I have it to the side for you guys so you can see like everything. Okay, what you need to do first is have both of these selected. <laughs> go to caps, go to delay cap, fillet cap, whatever it's called, and make the radius on each cap 0.365. Okay, that gives it a little bit of that, but you can't really notice it. Here, wait a second, let me put a texture on here. Okay, um, oh, whoops. Okay, so you have that, and you copy them. Control commands C and command V, and you take the the textures off the copied ones, and so you see you have this. Okay, so you have both of them, and you go to caps and bring it, put it, put it back to cap, just cap. No, whoops, no fillet, fill it. Fill it. And make the radius seventy-five point seventy-five. That's what I meant. Sorry. On each one. Whoops. Okay. After that, you have both selected, and you go to object. Bring it down to about five and drag it use use the blue arrow over here and drag it back you wait a second okay drag it back wherever you want copy that and move the second one up a little bit copy that one Bring it up a little bit, copy that one, bring it up a little bit, and copy the last one, bring it up, and make it overlap the outside a little bit so it has that outline thing. Oh, wait a second, sorry. See, 
See, it gives it a nice little outline right here. There we see. See, see it from here. See, it gives that nice little outline. You can change the color if you want. I'll change the color to blue, like in my example. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Forget. I forgot. No! Ow. Okay, sorry. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> well. So it's like this. And from for now, you have all that fun stuff done. It should look like just looks pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you get it. You get the point. <laughs> and then for all that fun stuff, I mean the cool, the stuff that makes it look cool. You can it, it's this is all your preference. I'm just showing you what you put on it. Okay, for this, get all the extrude nerves, all of them and group them into a null or just drag a group and go to effector random open the null put it put the random on the null so it goes inside go to make sure you have random selected go to deformer go to point yeah it goes crazy <laughs> now drag it around you mess with it. And that makes this sort of effect. Here, I don't like that. I think. Make it over overdone. <laughs> So yeah, it makes that kind of effect. Doesn't look that good right now, but wait a second. Change the seat around a little bit. Here we go. Let's try that. That's good enough. Okay, sorry. And for the next part, go to MoGraph Poly Effects. Just drag that in here. You don't need to do anything. Yeah. You go to MoGraph, extrude, bring that in there. And that makes it go all crazy and it might lag for me. You can mess around with that. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, it starts lagging. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, it gets ugly after you use it a couple times. So I, li I like to put it around like three or four. Like put that right there. That makes it all crazy and random. Here, wait, let me see. let me try something. Yeah. Let me put a light back there so you guys can see this. There we go. I think. Oh, whatever. Okay, this render region, I'm just gonna show you part. Yeah, it just makes it all random. And you can still mess with the random effect to make it worse. I mean, like crazy. And now for the last part, go to explosion, bring that into the null. Go to strength, make it one percent, and bring down the randomness. Let's mess around with that too. And this might take a while, but I'll show you some other stuff, I guess. Well, 
waiting. Almost. Well, sometimes it looks cooler than this. I, I don't know what changed, but... Yeah. It, you just have to mess around with it. That's all you have to do. And watch this. This makes it cool. There's this one texture called lava. And it, like, does this weird thing. Makes it look really sick. Really sick. It, like, goes over the logo a little bit. Like, it's, like it's on top of the logo, and it's just, like, seeping through it. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you where you can download this. It's free. It's from a guy named I don't know how to say his name. I think it's KK, Khaki, something like that. Oh yeah, talk. Please comment on this video if you want more tutorials and stuff because I will make them here it is KK or KK or something oh my god I won't get it back here it is yep Okay, it's still rendering. I'm on Mac, so I need some help with my Twixter. I don't have the cracked version, or uncracked, I don't get it. The, the crack for the Twixter, because look, see that? Yeah. The, the, the orange, I don't like that. It's not good. See right here. It just ruins the whole edit. If anybody knows anything, Please tell me. Remember, Mac. So, yeah. See, it just goes over the texture a little bit. So, yeah. That's all for this tutorial. Hope you like. Hope you like it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot. Yep. Zex out.